the Dominican Republic's defense minister, visiting the border for the first time since his country ordered it closed to neighboring Haiti. That decision was made to pressure Haitian farmers to stop digging a canal on the Massacre River, which the two countries share. We took the opportunity to ask him about the fairness of the Dominican Republic's demand. In El Lago Dominicano, hay varios proyectos, no como usando el agua del río, porque no podemos tener uno. ninguno de esos proyectos. But none of those projects diverts the course of the river. This one does, and that's why it violates the treaty. But the Haitians say they're suffering from drought and have a right to irrigate their farmlands. They continue to dig despite the build-up of Dominican troops on the other side of the border. Meanwhile, the closed border is affecting not just Haitians who depend on food from the wealthier Dominican Republic, but also traders and exporters on this side. The Dominican Industry and Commerce Minister, also at the border to reassure traders, promised to buy off any perishable food they can't sell. I asked him how long his government could do that for. The limit of time doesn't depend on us, it depends on Haiti. Now we hope that the talks advance and we continue to reposition our products internally. Meanwhile in Haiti, support for the canal is only growing. Perhaps because of Dominican opposition, it's becoming a patriotic endeavor. Flags are fluttering. Others, like Zephyr Magdali, are bringing food. We've come to support the canal being built because we are Haitians. We must cooperate among ourselves to give food to those who work at the canal. The Dominican Republic insists that Haitian businessmen and politicians are behind the project. But however it started, the canal has become very much a popular enterprise, albeit one that could cause economic ruin if the two countries continue their stand. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ace. I'm a traveler YouTuber who travels around the world, discovering new places, talking to interesting people. And today I'm going to be talking about what's happening at the Haiti and Dominican border. For those who don't know what's going on, let me give you a brief description. Currently there is a dispute at the border between two different countries that inhabit one island, and that is the country of Haiti and the country of Dominican Republic. The dispute is about water management and a canal that's being built by the people of Haiti off the border on the Massacre River, which essentially is used as a borderline between the country. Although the river does go into the Dominican Republic, some may argue it also starts in the Dominican Republic, there are also reports that show that the river starts in Haiti as well. Nevertheless, both countries do share the water at some particular point. The concern with the Dominican Republic is that they are going to be violating a treaty. The treaty states that both countries are not allowed to change the natural course of the river. They can use the river, but they can't change its natural course. On the Haitian side, they argue, hey, you have several projects in the Dominican Republic or that is taking water from that very river. And the Dominican response is yet. Yeah. Although we have several projects working on that river, none of it diverts the natural course of the river. However, they believe Haiti's first project on the river will. Here are the facts. One thing we learned about the building of the canal is not something new. The building of this particular canal has been going on for nine years. During those nine years, the Haitian government has been in talks with the Dominican Republic. In fact, if you watch my first episode on the subject where I went to the canal, I asked several different questions and we also found out that there was a study on the canal done. There are people who are calling out the government for contradicting itself. According to the statement of the 12 organizations, the action contradicts the official documents of the Dominican government, including the opinions of the National Institute of Hydraulic Resources. The New York Times writes, Some water experts said they believed the Dominican government was exaggerating, given that there are 11 canals on the Dominican side of the Massacre River. I think it is something that has been completely blown out of proportion, where the political is ruling more than the technical, said Martin Melendez, an engineering professor at the Santo Domingo Technological Institute in Santo Domingo, adding that Haitians also have the right to extract water from the river. So in the response of the ongoing building of the canal, the Dominican Republic has decided to close all the borders between the two nations and deport several Haitians back to their country. This happened maybe two months ago. Many Haitians who live in the Dominican Republic have decided to return back to Haiti voluntarily. Their thought process is the Dominican Republic does not want to see Haiti prevail. On the other hand, the Dominican Republic has stated that they are just making sure they protect the waterways 
properly. Uh, the border closure and so many Haitians leaving, it has taken a toll to the economy of the Dominican Republic. After one month of the border being closed, the Dominican Republic decided to reopen the border, but only for trade, not for entry. The Haitian people received that information as a insult, with some stating, you only want our money, but you don't want us to live in your country. Because of that information, the people of Haiti decided to barricade the border. However, the government of Haiti decided, no, we're not doing that. We'll just put a lock on the border to find if we can come to an agreement. Currently, the border is only being used for people who are leaving Dominican Republic, but no one can come in and no one could bring trade. And that's where we start the video, right there at the border. I started off right in front of a Haiti marketplace that they plan on using to sell product. Join me as we find out exactly what's happening at the border. And also guys, as promised, from the last episode where I met some women, I told you I was gonna go get some boots. Let's go get some boots in this video as well. Watch the video today and make sure you share this video. Share it to people in the diaspora in America, okay? I saw a lot of people from Haiti watching this video. I'm hype about that, but the people who, who are gonna make the biggest impact are the ones who live in the diaspora. Anyways, thanks for watching and let's get this video started. What is this? This is the market of Juana Man. It's never open. Because of the authority of Haitian people. So only that only the Dominican Republic the have a market that's work. This is the place all Haitian people go to sell. So okay, so instead of them having two separate markets what the Haitian and the Dominican people used to do, they agreed that they can sell all the products in one building. Yes, but this never will. So this never opened and then so the Haitian people actually go. would sell over there. They had exactly. their own booth. I used to go. They are all together. Haitian are together with Dominican Republic. So they had their it's own okay. booth? The, the, the uh, Haitian people have their own tables? And no. They they were they used to be together. What you mean together? Like Yes, it, you can see Haitian here. Uh, Haitian table here, here yes. and a Dominican table yes. right next to each exactly. other? Okay, so yeah. they had their yes, own they had their own section or it just all mixed up? They mixed together. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. So I heard there was like a fire. What happened with the fire? So, so uh, according to the authority or of Haiti, there are 38 uh, places that is burned that are burned here. Okay, he's, so he's gonna show us how the. The rooms, it's kind of dark in there guys, so work with me. So this is how the place used, uh, uh, would look uh, there. Yeah, right. this is the place of somebody. Someone working yeah, area? Set. Yeah, they, yes. Okay, they would make a, like a shack here. Exactly. One person Dominican, next person Haiti, Haitian. Oh. Yes. So what burn, what burn? Did okay. The food dogs. Yeah, for example, cosmetic. Clubs. So this kind of food. Whose property was it? Was it Dominican property or was it the uh, Haitian property? Est-ce que c'est propriété Dominicain ou propriété Haitian? Haitian. Yes. They also, the Haitians lost more yeah. than the Dominicans lost. Est-ce qu'il y a Dominicains qui perdent? Non. No Dominicans, only Haitians. Oh, the only, so there were products in that building yes. that got burned. Belongs, yes, belong to Haitian people and they burned. Okay, who burned it? Um, who burned it? Qui voulait? Qui moune? Qui est-ce qui voulait? Well, there have been reports that say it was the Haitian people to be, you know. But honestly, there's security there. All right, there's no way the Haitian people went in there and burned their own things to boost an agenda. I read that somewhere. And it was most likely something that happened on their side. Not saying who it was, but it happened on their side. Not only this, they can understand this. The the building doesn't burn, but the products get burned. It was intentional. What's going on here? It's like passé here. On pris le moule là. Okay, c'est They they open a little base 
some people that is deported from Dominic, Dominican Republic to press here and, some to, and to get some products. Also, there are people who are being, that are coming, yes. that just got deported. Yes, exactly. Okay, and the and products? Some, yes, and some products too. The products are coming from Dominican Republic? The products of Haitian people oh, were in inside, yes. Okay, so this is already was Haitian property, and so they just, it, but it was in the Dominican side, but now they're getting it from the other side. So let's see if we can get past. All right, guys, so they actually are authorities here, making sure they don't let anybody through this area. I'm with this guy, he's actually a member of a press, and uh, so we were lucky to find this guy, and he got us through, and so, so we're just looking at it with the situation here. Machine is low. Machine is captured. See the tobacco to the douane. You see you. Yeah, the stock you see here. Yeah. Yeah, they come from Dominican Republic. Okay, so they're stopping it. Yes, they capture them. Oh, they they hiding banana. They hiding yeah. stuff underneath. Uh, they hiding a lot of peppers. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow. So they're gonna burn this, a bully. Hey, so let me get a good look at it. So guys, here you go, guys. Uh, apparently, they found this from, uh, I guess, a truck coming in, and they were able to take stuff out. Okay, what are you doing, sir? Okay, sir, see my chances. Does, those products come from the Dominican Republic, but it is totally. Kote yo zwezi, how they found it? Kijon yo zwezi bagasa yo. No food. Yeah, when they check to see the people. Yeah, they, when they ask them just to take your their items, products, exactly. They take yeah. it more than that. Exactly, they take this kind of products. But it is forbidden just to go with them in Haiti, and that's why they they keep them here. They're gonna burn them. This is okay. I guess this is a public display. Like, look, we are still not accepting any goods from the Dominican Republic side, um, but there are people from this side that are trying to sneak him in, basically. Yeah. But they, you, this is not only from this side. He was actually talking about there are police officers over there. Uh, by the gate who were trying to bring in some products believe it or not this could also be just a show uh, something happens in the daytime and something happens at night um, like it or not I'm gonna be honest with you guys the relationship between the two countries is very symbiotic they can't I mean they cannot function without each other at the moment Dominican Republic, although it's one of the top the destinational places to visit, they still thrive on the money the Haitian people bring in and the cheap labor as well. Just deporting them and closing the border could cause them big time financially. You're talking about who's gonna do the cheap construction and farming for them, and also who's gonna buy up all the extra products. And apparently, the Haitian people are saying they're not subscribing to it unless some things change. El problema es que aquí ha habido una pérdida fuerte, fuerte de verdad, porque uno aquí vive de negocio con los haitianos. Y desde que se ha cerrado el, el mercado, imagínate tú, uno, hace un mes justo hoy que uno ha estado aquí no sé, sin hacer nada. Imagínate tú, si uno se mantiene, se vive de estos negocios y lo mantiene cerrado, de, the New York Times writes, Closing the border between the two countries could also harm the Dominican Republic, since many of the country's products are destined for the Haitian market. This border closure clearly creates a lose-lose situation, said Antonio Suriaco, an economist at the Autonomous University of Santo Domingo. The Dominican Republic also depends on the Haitian labor force that crosses the country daily to work in sectors such as agriculture and construction, he added. Wow. This is more of the river right here, the Massacre River, from this point on. We are literally at the border. This is the closest I've ever been to the Dominican Republic. A lot of you guys think I've been there before. I've never been in the Dominican Republic before. And look at this river. Wow. Okay. And that's 
to the Dominican Republic is just making sure we nobody's doing no funny business. And then uh, you actually got a looks like they might they're doing something over there to survey the land. I don't know what they're doing over there. Kisa ya fe over Sasi Kuti Negoti Gun Canal. They had a canal here. They had a canal here? Yes. They had a canal here? Yes. But the river was like this. You had to go to the river. There were 12 canals. You had to go to the river. But it was one of the... Between the 12 canals that they have, this is one of the canals. Right. Par rapport avec au fond les bois descendent les fouillés, les vins descendent plus bas. Pour un canal, il y a vins au niveau là. C'est bon. Et on met expliquer mon café. On y a là. Yo, quand ils sont faits, l'eau sale, après l'eau sale, ils ont décidé de faire de l'eau entrer dans le canal par toute tentative que vous faites. Vous pas capable. Quand on va dire qu'ils sont là, c'était fouillé, fouillé, tout. Donc, la rivière, ils ont été empêchés de l'eau aller descendre là. Mais bon Dieu, puis fort, la vie tombée, il nettoie elle, puis elle utilise une machine pour qu'on monte. Ça, c'est le Dominique. 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 So they use a machine just to take the water here and siphon it up. Yeah, just put it up. But it's unfortunately they can't because it is raining. You see the water; it's coming with very high pressure because they wanted to uh, the Haitian people not to have the water for their canal. Oh, so yeah, I did hear that the, they were open, reopening up another canal. So guys. This, apparently this canal is a new one or an old one they closed and now they're reopening it uh, in spite of what the Haitian pe people are trying to do for their land and so it's it's too many people petty in a way to say look we're gonna okay you're gonna open up we're gonna open up another just another one at the end of the day right here that is one of their canals that they are trying to re the build. It's right there, guys. If you can't see it, it's a line between the two that's artificial. It's exactly what the Haitian people are doing. I want you to understand, I'm not complaining about whatever the Dominican do on their side. They, they have a right to feed their people, feed their land, and use this river. But guess what? So do the people on this side of the same island. Yeah, we have the same right too to do it. Right. You know, so. I hope everything works out. I think, like I said, I think this is all propaganda. It's just a story at the end of the day. And mostly being revolved around the idea of uh, an election that's happening in the Dominican Republic, which is supposed to be uh, in May. How much money you think we lost? How much money you think Ah bon, moi même pas à imaginer. Yeah, it's gonna be very hard for me to buy that one. How much? So I mean, obviously, the, the whoever was selling this made the money. The Haitian people lost. Mais c'est un leçon que nous. Yeah, this is a lesson for Haitian people. C'est un leçon nous tracer pour pas tourner. So not to come back again. C'est un monde qui a pas fait nos points devant et devant les gens et devant communauté internationale. Et pour international community, if they stop you to do something and try another way. It's not good. It's a, he said one, which means it is a shame that you know we they're supposed to be we're supposed to be together, but there are some Haitian people seeing a business opportunity and trying their luck either way. Business is always going to happen. As I mentioned, I've talked to these guys, and it's also happening in reverse. All right, the Dominican people are still yeah. trying to sell to us. Yeah, even even the dogs. Even the dogs don't want to go back to the. No, they say here. 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 They say here.
Still How can they respect the dog? How could they respect the dog? Avec Dominique, avec Pep Dominique, en parlant de président Abinadel, ils ont servi avec Pep Dominique comme pont pour y régler les affaires politiques yeah. et, et politiques. Yo. Donc je ne j'ai dit, je ne j'ai dit nous-mêmes, nous clair, nous dit Abinadel, nous dit Pep Dominique et et l'ouvrier calé gel parce que ça y aurait qu'à passer en Haïti à bien plus mal qui va le passer la caillou puis devant parce que ça c'est toi qui est là ça est là derrière yep so the Abinadel use the Haitian people with words for politics but ourselves we try just to stop everything because we understand what he means and we try just to give him an weapon a response about it okay so the the president of the Dominican Republic try to do uh, control the people with politics yes and so this is how the Haitian people are responding so yes. they're gonna put that in the truck and they're gonna go burn it yes okay yep um Dife? Cote. Oh, okay. Let's go. All right. So this right here is actually meat they already cooked. Wow. The dog is trying to eat it. Wow. This is meat. Wow. Wow, and then here are more products, guys. They're burning. Apples. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is uh, this is everything the customs have seized and they're burning it. And um, you know, the smoke will go up and this will be a message to those who are still trying to finesse the game without a proper authority. All right? All right. And we found some boots. As promised, I was going to buy the lady some boots. So we're trying to um, find the right sizes because it's like um, a limited quality here. And then um, let's see if we can get some other equipment all to help them where they're farming okay so we are in the outskirts of the city of cop haitian and um they have a home depot like store here so let's see uh what the attendants because we are told them we were coming back um what they found all right so here we are this is the area we were able to uh find some boots and some gloves all right so these are the gloves right here that we're getting the ladies all right, and whoever wants to use it one size fits all. And now the boots, okay? So we gotta talk to the lady to find out what was the status on the boots. As we're waiting for them to get all the material, they're still looking for the, um, the boots. I wanted to show him something and actually show you guys something just to give you more perspective on the situation of farming here in Haiti. This is a market's place right here. So let me show you. They sell like uh, groceries in here. So the farmers, what they want to do is they want to um, cultivate products they can sell and, and stimulate the economy. The only problem is a lot of the issue is because a lot of the stuff is being imported at a cheaper price. When it comes to rice, like this rice right here, this rice, red uh, ribbon rice, rice is from America, right? Let me see where is it from. It says right here from texas this rice right here if you can see uh, okay i'm gonna see if i can zoom in for you i can see it. it's basically from texas this one right here this rice right here although it looks like it's uh, <laughs> foreign rice it says america favorite rice right 
same situation as well this rice is from houston texas right here we're talking about <laughs> thousands of miles away this that rice had to get on a boat to get here and what it does is uh haiti has been um infused and in flux with a lot of cheap products from foreign countries which has put a lot of the farmers out of the game in terms of producing or if they can produce so this canal right here will help them actually keep up with the numbers and provide Haitian people with a more economical price while still stimulating their economy by hiring jobs, creating new jobs for people, and also exporting more to the foreign countries. My mom loves Haitian rice. Um, if she had a pick between American rice, she's gonna go for the Haitian rice. And I think for everybody, you get the idea. If you're like, if you're a foreigner, you would probably go for the food your country is from as well. So there's so many Haitians here. Look at this right here. Is this these? These beans. Where are they from? New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this rice is from New Orleans. Okay. New Orleans. And then they actually have rice here. This is all rice from France right here. France. France. And this one right here. I know it says sushi rice, but it's from America. Okay. Let me see if I can show you uh, New York, product of USA, New York, okay? <laughs> yeah. What is this rice doing all the way down here? <laughs> okay, well, that's the problem with the economy here, guys. All right. And so if they can produce more rice for the country and get independent from all these other countries sending them all this free stuff, um, it'll be good. You know, the funny part is, in America, th there's a huge homeless problem. And they say they don't have money for food, but <laughs> they're sending it uh, to other countries in hopes to help them, but they really are crippling the other countries. They should keep the rice, save it for the people in need in their own country. All right, so I'm showing you the proof, guys. Make sure you, if you're part of the diaspora, make sure you share this information, especially if you're Haitian, all right? Share this information. I think a lot of you guys, um, try to understand the economical economical problem of haiti and saying it's just, just the haitian people it's not only haitian people there's other countries who are actually helping the country but in reality they're crippling the country so i'm giving you the i'm giving you the i'm showing you <laughs> okay all right rice should be made in ha uh, haiti haiti the beans should be made in haiti <laughs> you know, when i went to jamaica one thing about jamaica i like they had so many black products in the okay. store all right. and it felt like i was in jamaica i was like oh i'm like normally in america you see all these mixed products and stuff like that not too much um focus on black people it's just generic stuff but like in jamaica it's a lot of black products out there and i really enjoy going to the store seeing that that should be the situation here you know what i mean so not to say haiti shouldn't have in imports um but their, their imports should not be over the amount of products they have they make in their own country all right all right guys so we are finally ready to get back to the town it took us maybe maybe two three hours to just get everything here but uh we got 60 pairs of boots all right 60 pairs of boots and then um we got 10 um shovels because they said they needed some shovels for their farming. And then we also got some gloves right here. So these were like 48 pairs right here. So I think this will help them when it comes to their farming needs. I'm super excited. Hey, thank you to my bosses right here. <laughs> they helped so, me. I'm really excited <laughs> to, get, to get the materials for, for the people to work. Yeah, they helped the, the big time. So I'm really appreciated. And so they also gave us um, some credit. All of this came up to uh, $900. I'm looking for the receipt. Okay. So the here's the receipt, guys. It came up to $900, right? And also, they gave us a, like a store credit, right? And so with the store credit, we went ahead and got some chips and some drinks because it's a long road and we need to fuel ourselves, all right? Like 48 bucks. We, we end up going to them out buying those chips, but we still were able to get something to fuel us. Anyways, let's go help the ladies out. I'm ready to roll. Not out there. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back here in the village. Um, we are really far away from where the action is. 
as you can see reason why is because we want to separate the women from this or everybody else because if not it's going to be chaos just to distribute i think we'll have a little bit over uh, amount of stuff to give people but just in case we want to make sure we uh, take care of the women first and also as you can see i'm gonna be giving around six hundred dollars worth of haitian money to the group of ladies as well uh, this will help serve as uh, pretty much um, you know get food or something like that I talked to one of the representative actually the guy that was showing me around the other day um, he's actually got the ladies coming in and they're gonna have one representative I can give the money to and that's her job to distribute the money to the ladies all right so we're gonna make sure they know we're giving them we're giving them 81,000 um, goods Eight, eight, excuse eight, me, not eight, eighty-one thousand goods. Eighty-one thousand goods. Right. Yes. So uh, eighty-one thousand goods is around six hundred bucks, if I'm looking at it. Yeah. So that's what we're giving them, and uh, yeah, that I think this will help them in terms of getting something to eat. It's a lot of them, granted. It's like around forty of them. So, but anything it helps. Why am I doing this video and being a little bit transparent? Because I want to motivate you guys. Who want to do this too? Maybe you want to come and make a trip here, or maybe you want to find how to donate. I don't don't donate to me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna see if I can find a place where you can do it uh, before the end of this video. It might be in the description somewhere. Uh, but as far as anything, yeah, something you want to do. Maybe you want to come here. I want to make this like a tourist destination. Like you come into town years from now. You, you take time to come and look at the canal and be proud of it for what it stands for. Um, a time in history where Haiti, where Haiti stood um, together and we, we, we want to see more of that to help the, the community out. Anyways, let's see what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, not pal. My ba, my ba li cob from to from bezen kone kombe. Okay, okay, okay. We have to well say okay. <laughs> okay. So that that lady is actually was the appointed chief of the group of women we saw the other day or maybe the same day here in the same video. And um so she's the chief in charge of everything. I told her I'm not giving her the money until everybody knows how much money is given out. So they gotta get get to her, and she gonna figure it out. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully smooth sailing. <laughs> smooth sailing. To my guy Fassi. <laughs> we know no, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be. It's never that easy. Okay. It's not easy. All right. All right, guys. So we're back to see the ladies again. All right. Hello, hello. Good to to form you. My te pale ave. Hello. Mo mo eti gas. Mo papa le ave gas en yo. Tell them form you first. Tell them to come. Only the women first. Let me see all of them. Mesdames, you d'abord. S'il vous plaît, signez un message. Passez pas derrière. Parce que c'est mesdames, you te pale ave. Okay. All right. So um, uh, just to let them know that uh, the, some people in America got some uh, help together to send them something for their feet. Hey, want to add that you to the United States to put bag for us for the Okay, and then uh, maybe something to dig. Hey, you put the. You put the tea. What is that? Hell, bell, hell, bell. For no capable. Piki, because you said this is with our men. We can do the hard work. Yes. We come with a bell for no for no to continue the hard work. Okay, and then we also got some gloves for them too. And we put these. We put these in the noon. So we're gonna give it out, but we want order, and I guess he he's gonna be in charge of that. Eh, mon ami, à chaque là, c'est même les gars qui vont parler pour nous, hein? C'est que nous, nous voulons tout bagarrer faire dans l'ordre pour nous qu'à bosser, ouais, ok? 
Ok. Alright. Maman, il y a un premier monde qui peut te donner. On gagne. Try to figure out who I am. Ma boulou, maman. Not sure what I'm doing here. And the days don't work out the way I thought they would. And before you, there was no one who understood. Never found somewhere I fit in. Until I met you, I was feeling lost. But you're the one who can make it go away. All you have to do is look at me. Sometimes I, I can't breathe. Okay. Like you're the one who saves All right. Me. Okay. <laughs> Come on, my baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me. The one who saves me. to hold on It's not easy but I'm feeling stronger with you And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Sometimes I Alright guys, so surprisingly we gave out the boots, the gloves, the shovels to surprisingly a lot more people than I thought we were going to give. So I'm feeling really good about that. Now we're going to give the women the money. I got the women hanging out right here and um, I'm going to make the announcement and then we're going to give the money out, okay? Alright. So translate for me, okay? All right. So we uh, we decided that she was gonna be the chief of the of the women here. Yes, she's the chief. Okay. Tell them I'm gonna give them money so she can distribute to everybody else. Yeah. So they can understand something. So we don't need to talk about it. Uh, you understand? Because if you talk about why, why? it, that could be. Uh, it could be. Yes. Because they will think that she, they have money. So we can talk. I told you this. But I need transparency. Okay, yeah. So, yes, tell them. Yes. No. Yes. No. Best and fairly. Okay. Tell them. So, no content for a group, mesdames. I said, tout ça que nous partageons, et yo achete pour nous plus, le cabaye non, c'est bagay pour. Contribution. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give them the money. Yeah, la boti, si ba la, si ba. And what buy to the family or la? Okay. No, 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 no problem. Okay, okay. One moment, okay. It's going to be 81,000. And 80, 81,000 good. Yes, 81,000 good. Okay. Good. Pas pour. Je ne sais pas qui ça ouvre les livres. Je sais un bagage pour manger, ok? Ok. Retourne, moi, ok? Je ne pas de problème. Oui, oui. Je ne sais pas de problème. Ok. Ok, this is the money. Alright. Alright. Okay, hey, okay, man, Kobla, okay, all right, and she's supposed to give it to everybody, okay, all right, and I just want to say, okay, this I just want to say, keep up a good job. We believe in you, and you make us so proud from America. Yeah, ça veut dire et c'est un beau travail qu'on a fait. C'est à son surprise aux États-Unis. Et continuez travail, continuez travail dans le canal là. Oui, merci. Ok. Comment ça? Hey, 
clean this up and then um we'll, uh, we'll it's time for us to go okay <laughs> being here with us and we want to thank everyone that is watching and uh, we want to thank you. Thank you for supporting Haiti, supporting the canal. Thank you very much and thank you. We appreciate that. Let's build the nation of Haiti. Let's build Haiti. We are, we are the essence. We are the one that can do it. Let's do it. Uh, we are not going to wait for foreigners to do it for us. So patience, let's do it. Thank you very much. Thank you for your presence. Thank, Thank you. you for being here with us. Uh, this 
And you come from Florida? Miami. Miami. Come on! <laughs> 305. Um, I love this because it shows us the importance of the Haitian diaspora. It shows us that Haitians in Haiti have a movement. They're, they're crying out for change. They're working for change. But this is one of the first time ever that I see us as a diaspora coming alongside in a very practical, physical, tangible way. We're coming alongside of something that's bringing life. The canal brings life. Canala, mungene sampin paski canala ipote and so when we're building the canal it's as if we're building an instrument that will carry life and what's powerful about the canal Construire un canal jeudi, demain nous sommes capables de construire l'école. Et puis après ça, il y a l'hôpital. Après ça, nous sommes capables de construire la, um, la rue, ou comment nous sommes capables de dire ça Route. Nous sommes capables de construire une belle route. Ça, c'est seulement une image de l'avancement du peuple haïtien. Haïti n'est pas péri. Comment ça, il y a Haïti n'est pas péri. Haïti n'est pas péri. Canal là Pas péri. Canal là Pas péri. Haïti Pas péri. Okay. Would you like to introduce yourself to the host team? <laughs> okay, all right. I know a lot of you guys want to get involved and want to know and have been asking me how to donate, which is why I showcased the P4H organization. In the past, they actually did help fundraise over $100,000 towards helping the canal. I have been watching them for the past several months and they have been proven to be very transparent on how they use their money posting receipts unfortunately they are not accepting donations for the canal at this moment however they're still accepting donations for their nonprofit organization that helps the teachers of haiti empowering them equipping them with the tools they need to help teach the children of haiti in the video as you can see they're doing some phenomenal things and if you would like to support them their link will be in the description. Before I leave guys, I just want you to understand something. When I make these videos of me helping people out, it's because I want to inspire you to do the same for your community, whatever that may be. When I showcase myself going from one spot to the next, I want I want you to know like, hey, it's totally possible that you can do it yourself. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned from this video. And I wanna say thank you for coming on this journey with me back in Haiti again. And yeah, man, um, we out, but before we go, make sure you watch another video, okay, uh, from me in Haiti, and you know, watch another video. You know what? Subscribe, okay, right here. Check this out. Subscribe. All right, peace. I don't know where I'm going next. Comment down below. All right, peace, love, yo.